There's still no Destroy All Humans 2. I'm working on it. I just got back from a huge vacation. Things are still a little bit hectic. But first, go to GreenManGaming.com and help things not get hectic. Seriously, I want this to be my full-time job, and this would help out a lot. No Man's Sky is the most interesting tale of a video game I have ever seen. When it was first announced, everyone decided this is going to be the best game ever made. And when it wasn't, it quickly became everyone's favorite game to hate. I mean, seriously, people loved to hate this game. I mean, wow. But the developers kept making the game. They kept releasing new shit. It started with the base building, then we got cars, which was a bit weird because in a game about exploring the vast emptiness of space, they were adding all this stuff that was about settling down, which was a bit weird. Then that one update came out that I forget the name of. It was, that was a while ago. And that started to change people's opinions of it. Then Next came out. Suddenly, No Man's Sky is the comeback kid of the games industry. I mean, seriously. It, this game's the underdog of the games industry right now, and it's crazy. Now, we have this brand new update. One year after No Man's Sky Next, we have all kinds of crazy new stuff with the game, and we are going to check that out today. I have not played this yet. You're going to play it with me, and we're going to see what is the deal this time around with uh, what seem to be our yearly check-in videos with No Man's Sky. So, we're using the same save that has the goob, so don't worry about that. I love the goob. We can't abandon the goob. Ring planet. Awesome. Where's my shit? <sighs> well, I found my car. I will assume that this loaded in without my knowledge. Oh! Yes, I am aware that this game now has a VR mode. That is going to have its own separate video, and there will also be a video for the multiplayer. This is just us going in, seeing what is new with the game. Let's see. Uh, that's the build menu. Summon vehicles. Ahaha. Summon my ship. Let's start with that. Excellent. It looks like a giant dart. This is one of my favorite ships. It's an exotic ship, actually. Eagle One, I call her. Let's see what else we have. Anything new in this? Some of the ship there. No new vehicles for the looks of it. Some in freighter. Some in other ships. These were all here before, though. <laughs> we'll wait till we're out in the vast emptiness to summon our ship. Oh boy, here we go. Now, another quick word of note, this video might not even make it on the internet because this game is running Vulcan now, which is new, and I hate Vulcan. And XSplit hates Vulcan. And OBS hates Vulcan. And Fraps hates Vulcan. Recording software does not like Vulcan, and it's painful. Alright. Apparently, we have a transmission. Let's see. This iteration of the synthesis bot has almost reached capacity. I think this will be the final batch of data it can accept in this universe. Excuse me, what the fuck did you just say? Friend, this is all the research anomaly has planned. The anomaly has planned for now. But let this not be a moment of sadness. Explore, fly, run, swim, journey. We will bring our home to you now, friend. Oh, so I could just summon you? I think that was a feature now, actually. Alright. 
Sure. Let's see. Summon the space anomaly. Hello. <laughs> there it is. Whoa, what? There. Well, there it is again. So, uh, obviously still ironing out a few of the kinks. Let's see what's new here. Oh, this is very new. Okay, that's a th Oh, there are other ships here! Neato. Oh, there are other players here! Ah. Oh. So, like... This is shared across other people's... Oh. It's a community hub now. Oh, that's fucking rad. That's fucking rad. This place looks rad. Everything in here looks rad. Oh, hello? You're a tentacle squid head person. Okay. Cool. Alright, what do we got? Well, someone's already talking to him, so. Welcome home, traveler. Nothing has changed. Everything is the same. Nada no, does not joke. Okay. Polo is always busy. Little improvements here, there. Op optimizing, enhancing. With all the time we have, Polo Entity can fix many things. Uh, okay. Right, shut up! really ugly ships. Actually, those two are just the starter ship. And so is that one. <laughs> Who's this? What is with these ugly ships? My god! <laughs> As I say, I still need to talk to you. Have a friend. Remember us. Nada is grateful. For as long as Nada has, Nada will be grateful. We will remember you also. You know, when people talk in No Man's Sky, you don't really know. You don't really get a grasp for what they're actually saying. Oh, that's a player. Yeah. Exocraft research. What do you got? Research exocraft upgrades. Fusion engines. Oh god. A submarine cannon. Oh, I already know that one. Fusion engine. Alright. What else you got? Tell me. Acceleration module. Signal booster. Thermally efficient and inversion proof reactor engine capable of powering the lawn, not along even at extreme depths. For those of you who don't know, I didn't do a video on it. The Nautilon is the game's new submarine. They did what basically a subnautica update to the game and added a whole bunch of underwater base pieces including a submarine. Starship research. Well, you're freaky looking, aren't you? <laughs> All of these are research because we're in sandbox. Exosuit research. Hey, some of these I don't have. Efficient water jets. Ooh, 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 translators. Hell yes! Give me another one with your freaky giant tongue. Alright. And the advanced translator. Install that like immediately. Let's 
see. Large memory array and overclocked language processors allow the real-time translation of significant chunks of speech. This game has like a weird mechanic where I apply all components to... Oh. Done. This game has a weird mechanic where you learn alien languages by going all over the place, actually. And it actually translates some of the things people say into English while on, like, space stations and shit. And I assume this will help immensely with that. Where does this go? There are a lot of people here now. It used to be just... It used to be just the, the, the other two guys. Ooh, what's this? Do you, are you like a store? You're a tree! <sighs> Look at the tree, man! Need me to rest. Why were you standing here like you're selling something? Shut up! Saw anything? Okay. This is like a market, almost. Not really. It looks like one. I like that you can see all the other players here, though. This is exactly what the game needed. Big hub. Like before, you with the uh, next update, we had player hubs, and that wasn't good enough. Hey, friend, I felt. Have you stood before a portal, stranger? Yes, I have. Stood before the portal of Solus Prime, but did not cross the threshold. I reached out, only the tip of my finger could raise the gate. But the next moment, I woke aboard the anomaly. It was transformed. The gate here does not have the power of the ancient monolith, so it shares aspects of their network. Alright. Neat. How do I input the coordinates? These things are like stargates. How do I use that? Where's that door go? There's a door here. It opens. Oh, I think this is the the one thing from the main story. Yeah. All right, boring. I'm not gonna spoil the main story for this game. Like, this game is super on sale. I think right now, or at least it was. This is a good game now. No Man's Sky is now a good game. Are there more people I have to speak with? Who are you? Who are you? Who are any of these people? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I guess we could just leave. There's a whole load of new base building mechanics we can try out. I'm hoping the freighters are part of that. Alright, back in the open. Shut up about upgrade modules. Apparently Polo holds more into black holes and shit. Sounds awesome. Boom, warp speed. That's a good ship. Problem is, I don't think its warp drive is very fast. Those are all weapons. This is everything. Photon cannon upgrades, large rocket tubes, a ballista, a launch system recharger. That's new, I think.
Eagle One doesn't carry rockets, though. <sighs> ah, shit, I think they redid all the planets, too. I hope not. I put a lot of effort into the planet of Huntington. Wait a minute. Is this the planet of Huntington coming up? Did I not leave the, the solar system? No, no, I think I did. I think I did. But we will go find Planet Huntington just to satisfy my incredible curiosity. All right, coming up on the fleet. Oh God, here we go. And that's the fleet. I am very much looking forward to walking along outside one of these ships in VR. That is gonna be an exciting day. Anyway, here's the Goob, our favorite ship. Our favorite ship in the world. The Goob. Now we pull a hold support as the backbone is an Atlas stations. Atlas stations? Upgrade modules improve a specific technology you have already installed. Each module is unique. Search out specific or rare modules at each space station. Okay. Now stop showing it to me. I read it. Now leave me alone. Please. <laughs> this place is making more noise now. Insane noises. Freighter rooms. Well, we got the same rooms. I was actually hoping we had more decorations. I'm pretty sure we already had nothing here. Nothing here neither. New decals, maybe? Whoa, wait, what happened here? Oh, I'll tell you what happened here. It's not supposed to be a hallway here. So that's what happened there. <laughs> I need to do it. What the? Hmm? What's here? What's here? They redid the lighting here, though. Now this ship needs a lot more light. Wow. Okay. Hate to see how dark the cargo hold is. Oh, wow. It is very dark. Oh, no. Check it out. Okay, so you walk over them, and it lights up as you go. I assume to... I assume the, uh... Reason in universe is to save power aboard the ship, and the real reason is they don't want to waste a million memory trying to get the fucking lighting engine to work the way they want. Alright, I think it was the rug. Either way, we can walk here now. I need to do a episode of the Many Homes of Hunter. But with the but with No Man's Sky now, that is absolutely in the future. I don't like this popping though. You see those boxes popping in? I don't like that. I hate that. That guy, he's popping in. What's with the popping? Don't do that. It's weird. I need to know where Huntington is. We need to get to Huntington. Let's see if the freighter can do anything new. God, I hope you can. Alright, so obviously the translator isn't working well. Alright, so the freighter is still basically just a freighter. Fleet management. I 
10 tons, yada yada. 254 successful encounters. Yada yada. <laughs> Fashionably sculpted engines. Hmm. <laughs> What? <laughs> Freighter research terminal? Hello. It's just better reactors and shit. I guess all the good stuff is on the ground then. Whoa. Well, this is where everything is. The Huntington system. Let's do it. We'll bring the player hub over to us once we get there. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> Tell you what, let's build a new base instead of adding on to one of the ones we got. Let's do that. Let's build a base on a different planet in the Huntington system. Just so we can, like, start building from the ground up. That'd be fun. <laughs> Let's do it. Just as soon as we get there and the laser light show ends. Right, it ended. Awesome. <laughs> Right. Oh! You know what else we gotta check out? We got some on board. We gotta check out the new outfits and stuff. Objective complete community research. I don't think I researched anything. Insufficient power! Excuse me? Okay. Tech. Central. Finer. Finer. Has a protection unit. Health station. Trade terminal. Okay. I think the ship has, uh, I think the ship has a set amount of power. Nutrient processor. Fucking. Alright, I'll go to the fucking space station before I do anything else. I want to know what this is. Oh, you know, you know what would be a great place for this? Mess Hall. Mess Hall was... Yeah, upstairs. Alright. Gotta find a place to put it. There's good. Maybe two, because this is supposed to be where the entire crew eats. Awesome. What are you? I think it's a cooking station. Neato. Alright. Anything for power? I don't think so. What about this thing? Does this need power? For this? this thing. Insufficient power. What if we take it out and put it back in? It's worth a try. Well, you can't say I didn't try. Anyway, we're going to the space station anyway. <laughs> Alright, shut up, I'm going! Fuck! 
I do not like the new texture workings. Yeesh. Ouch. <laughs> that looks like it hurt. <laughs> to be new stuff on space stations as well, which I'm very interested in. So let's find out. Oof. I don't think it wanted to be going that fast. Station Find an appearance module module thing and get the upgrade things before I fucking have an aneurysm. <laughs> you. It's a mission guy. You. You got upgrade parts? Guild credentials, guild here is flourishing. All members are being yada yada, except take the present, thanking the guild. It's not what I was looking for. All right, this cartographer guy might have one. Put the map of the screen towards the picture of a waypoint of the most planetary yada yada. I don't care. <laughs> oh, there's a ramp over on those sides now. Jesus Christ, thank you. Oh my God, go away. <sighs> I'm looking for them. Wait, I think I could just put one in. Great for the pulse engine. Alright, cool. So I was carrying one around this whole time, it just kept throwing up the tool tip. And it's back. Please go away. <laughs> there we go, tech merchant. Surely you have something I can use. Toxic protection module, underwater protection module, all kinds of stuff. Movement module. Sure. Like, I'm invincible, but that sounds like it'll help. a scatter blaster upgrade. Apparently now I'm just hunting these things down. All right, movement. Techno. Upgrades the movement system, improving fuel efficiency, sprint distance, and jetpack tanks. Oh, that's gonna help. Oh, that's gonna help. All right, here we go. Heads. Nothing new. Let's see, wait, banner. Where's banner? Oh, I see. Okay. So this is like a player banner. 
Sure. Get the gun. I like the gun. And once again, we can't change anything on the backpack. New boots. I think we have to find the new armor pieces, actually. That would make more sense. Alright. Oh, supposedly we- <gasps> We can sit! We can sit, we can sit, we can sit, we can sit, we can sit! And it went into the first person for some reason. <laughs> well, the good news we can, is we can sit down there. That's good. We gotta find Polo, apparently. Alright, good. All the settlements on Huntington are still there. There's our moon base. There's a thing way over there. I don't know what's on that planet, though. That's Arcadia out there. It's a nuclear planet. What's this one? Abandoned planet. And that cool ass looking one way over there. Tell me about that one. I don't see a base on it. Either way, we're going to the... Ah, oh, fuck! I named it Sea of the Morning Star! How many of these are anime references? Oh, there's just this one. Don't worry. <laughs> I didn't put anything on it, though. It's a paradise planet. Star bulbs, copper, paraphernalium. Paraphernalium? It's not paraphernalium, but I'm gonna call it that. <laughs> I'm gonna call it paraphernalium from now on. That's just a good, that's just a good name. Let's see what we got under utilities. Scan for trade outposts. Hey, hey. I meant to take a look at the new cockpits. I like the lever. I wonder if it responds as we move the ship. Hang on, where's the... there it is. Just fill it back up. stick with I assume that's how we'll fly it in VR. Alright, awesome. I want to get something near the coast. Oh, this place looks awesome already.
Harvest mining unit. Exocraft stuff. Any new ones? Not that I can tell. No. Ah, oh, sweet. Here we go. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's fucking beautiful, it is. Let's get down here. I've always wanted a seaside base. One that's on land, but we can also use the submarine. That would be awesome. We'll do it here. Oh yeah, right on top of the copper deposit and everything. All right, let's see. Tech. General. It's not here. Portable. Base computer. There we go. There's no prior claims on this site. Claim. Awesome. <laughs> it's got my germs on it. It's mine now. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Now we got all sorts of shit we can do. Specialist. Foundations. We'll start with the foundation of our new society. All right, large and in charge. Learn the biofuel reactor. Yeah, we'll do. You got it. <laughs> Many pieces of base technology require power modules to run. They must be wired up to a grid of generators and batteries. Large bases with lots of technology may require several generators to stay online. Wiring is free to place. Well, at least we got that. Tech. Power and industry? Industry. Okay, what do we got? We got the biofuel solar panels. Excellent. So we'll put up a solar farm. And this is the uh, electromagnetic generator. I have no idea how that's gonna work. Just put it down, I guess. Batteries. Short range teleporters. Oh, fuck yeah. All right, electrical wiring. Put that there. And then, look at the base. Not getting anything though. All right, our best bet is to connect all of these just with one long cord. And then hook that in. I think? I think it's working now. Okay. <laughs> Good, because I need to figure out some goddamn stairs. And a landing pad. Livestock unit. Uh huh. Where are we going with this? 
autonomous feeders, antimatter reactors, the appearance modifier, large refiner, communication station, and all that other stuff. Base teleport module. I've had those before. Message modules. Uh, let's get that landing pad, actually. Here we go. Let's have this closer to the top of the hill. That's not structurally good looking at all. <laughs> I thought I could connect it to the base. Let's not... Let's just have it here, then. That, at least, it looks like I can walk up to it. Why? Why? Oh, they want to fight me. <laughs> How'd that work out for you? <laughs> What did you think of your choice? <laughs> Light box, noise box, sphere creator? It creates spheres, what do you want? <laughs> Hang on. I need ramp. There we are. Now we get some uh, corridors. To a nice square room over here. That'll have a window. I think there's more angles in which you could put the windows on this one now. That's neat. on this. I think that's a new window as well. This is good. We need more windows. The basic stuff is here still. I was really hoping for more decorations. Seeing it. Okay, hang on. It wants me to do something in power. No. I think it wants me to place this. extractors. Cool. And mineral extractors, of course. For God's sake, how about some defense turrets while we're at it? So I'm gonna get the local wildlife on my fucking back. Yeah, that'll, that'll help. <laughs> All right, what do you need? No electromagnetic field detected. Yeah, that might be a problem. <laughs> what other generators do we have? None. It's those three. It's those three or you're shit out of luck. And we'll get these. Figure out how that bioreactor works. 
I see. We just throw shit in the furnace. Alright, they're online. Awesome. We have power. Now let's figure out why the solar panels aren't working. Other than the fact that it's night. It actually tells you how long they're gonna be out. <laughs> cool. Is there another ship flying around? What am I hearing? Oh. They always find me for some reason. <laughs> it's, the, it's, the, it's the IRS, they still find you. What's going on with this door here? So the doors need power now. Well, how do I open it now? Okay. Open the door, please, thank you. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> Ooh, what's that? It's the livestock unit. Man, upgrading the base, uh, the my existing bases after this, oh god, that's gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? Ooh, yeah, just one big nightmare. Alright, I'll go to the fucking space anomaly. Pretty much done here anyway. I'm gonna have to go back and take another look at the features list for this update. Because all the things I love about the game weren't improved upon. <laughs> Summon this thing. There it is. Sorry. Hey! You rang? This player hub that they've added must be more important to the new game than I thought. They said there were going to be more updates, but I don't know what they're about. Not yet. Anyway. Would it not have been more efficient to spin the other way? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Who's this guy? I completely skipped this one. Oh, this is the Quicksilver guy. Which is this game, one of this game's in-game currency that we thought we would have to pay for, but we don't. So that's cool. <laughs> And it looks like all the old stuff came back as well. Wait, fuck. I didn't scroll down. Yes. Ooh. Fighter statues. It's worth noting I have zero Quicksilver. These are all base building parts. Gestures. And I have a category for not owned, which is nice, I guess. I'm sure some people will find that useful. Is that the guy? 
I would have to assume the short guy would need to be somewhere relatively within walking distance of where you park your ship. But instead, I'm going all the way up here. Oh, is this him? Yeah, there he is. Hey, guy. Go further, go faster, see it all. Have no regrets, friend. I am proud of you. Atlas Station. I will do it, but please be careful. We would hate to see you leave us. Alright. So now I got coordinates to an Atlas Station. I just coughed them up. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted. this is it. And we have to follow this trail of breadcrumbs. Filters. Oh. Well, that didn't help at all. Okay, there it is. So that leads to Galactic Core, and this is Free Explorer. Why don't we have a waypoint for an Atlas station? Or maybe we're already wow. here. That would help. Well, there's those ships that warped in. Is it on the planet? I don't think so. Here. Fly a bit away from the planet. Okay. Everything's in view now. Tell you what, let me track this down. Alright, I have no idea where it is. So I'm going to make that a separate video since this one's running kind of long. So we're three years out from the release of No Man's Sky. This was a huge improvement with, I think, what they were trying to accomplish. Like, the player hub really ties players together. Because before, I like with the No Man's Sky next update, I wasn't getting nothing. Like, you could not feel the togetherness at all. This is a million times better. <sighs> we'll see what happens. There will be another video where we do more with this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button really hard with your head. I want to go figure out the power situation with uh, my main colony. Oh, it'll be a nightmare. Come